Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you around my home office. Uh, we bought a house about two months ago and um, I work from home, obviously, my finished basement. And I'm gonna show you around, but I'm, I'm always reluctant to do these types of videos because I don't wanna come off as that douchebag that's just you know, uh, just showing off what I have because there's so many videos like that. Um, so I always have to preface it with this uh, and, and let you know that the reason I do this is, well, this, there's a couple reasons. One, I've been asked. Two, um, I just love technology. I love uh, watching setup videos like this. So I figured you guys do too. You guys are into technology. Uh, three, the most important is for inspiration because those of you that have watched me for a while and seen my more personal videos, you know that I, I come from no money. I come from, I didn't grow up having stuff. Um, I grew up as a drug addict, you know, when I was 17, I started doing opiates and uh, my life was just hell. I've been to jail, I've been in detox, I've been pretty much been homeless, and I was able to completely turn my life around for two reasons. One, I had, uh, you know, my family, my wife and my two kids, and also my career. So technology, programming, development, this stuff, this is something that I have a huge passion for and... Uh, I finally found something that I love to do that I could actually make money with because I, I was so passionate and I just dove in head first and, and did what I had to do. So regardless of where you're at now, uh, and I know a lot of you are very well off and that's fine, we'll just look at some stuff, but for those of you that aren't where you want to be, just know that you can. If I can do it, anybody can. All right, so let's just jump in and let's take a look at some stuff. All right guys, so we're gonna start the tour. Basically, this is the entrance way. So this is a finished basement in my home and you come down the stairs. And in the entrance way, I have an Ikea glass case. I don't know the exact model. Ikea has some really weird names. But this is where I display all my Funko Pops, which I'm not crazy about, but it's something to collect. I have a bunch of Stranger Things and, and uh, Walking Dead. And then there's just a little drone on top there. All right, and then we do have a bathroom down here. It actually also has a shower. I've never used a shower, but it's convenient to have a bathroom. And over here is the entrance to the office. So take note of the sign. And basically on the left side is where I work. So this is my work area, but two stations, and I'll go over both of them. Uh, and then on this side is the theater slash man cave. And you can see there's a a gas fireplace here. This is actually what we use for the heat source down here and it gives off a lot of heat. There's a switch on the side here to control the blower so it can blow the hot air out and it works really really well. There's a completely different heat source upstairs but uh, yeah and I also like how it looks and you can actually control it with the uh, with the thermostat. So up here on the wall is the the white thing here is the thermostat which can control it and next to that I have a t an Android tablet that's currently dead. I need to charge it, but I usually have my ADT app open on that so that I can easily see the cameras uh, outside and some of the indoor cameras as well. All right, so let's take a look at the workstations here. We'll start with the PC. So this, this workstation I use for uh, just about everything except for doing courses and tutorials. Uh, research, creating projects for courses, studying, uh, gaming, which I don't really do much gaming uh, these days, uh, just basic web browsing, everything. So this PC I built uh, about a year and a half ago, I would say, and just some quick specs. It's a Fantex Evolve tempered glass case and it has a, uh, uh, an Asus ROG Strix motherboard with uh, an i9, Intel i9 processor, and there's 32 gigs of G-Skill RGB RAM, two 10, uh, 1070, uh, GTX 1070 graphics cards, EVGA, uh, an EVGA 860 watt power supply, and then two one terabyte Samsung SSDs. Uh, also have a Corsair water cooler and some Corsair RGB fans in the front, if you can see right there. But yeah, that's my PC. Uh, up on the desk, let's take a look at the monitors first. So these are three 27-inch uh, 4K LG monitors. And uh, I like these. I, I, 
I actually replaced six 1080p monitors, which I had about two years ago, and uh, I'm glad I did. Six monitors is just insane, and it's uncalled for. Uh, but yeah, these I, I love these monitors. They, they have really crisp, really nice picture. Uh, on the desk, we have my peripherals, which are all Corsair. So for the mouse, this is a, I think it's a Corsair Rival, if I'm not mistaken. It's nothing special. Uh, and then it's on a Corsair RGB mouse pad. We also have a Corsair K70 keyboard, mechanical keyboard, and it uses uh, Cherry MX red switches. Blue switches are actually my favorite, but I couldn't find this, this uh, model with blue switches. And then we have the Corsair Void headphones, the wired version, and those are on an ST100 uh, headphone stand. And all the RGB is connected through software, so it all kind of flows together. And then over here we have an Elgato Stream Deck, which I don't do any live streaming just yet, but I, I just use it to quickly open programs. And uh, I have the record and stop button if I want to record on this computer, stuff like that. For the sound system, it's just a cheap uh, um, cyber acoustic system. So we have the two speakers, and then we have the subwoofer uh, and the volume control. So for the microphone, we're using a, a Rode NT1 USB mic, which I'd highly recommend. It's pretty cheap. It's uh, I think they're under uh, under 200 bucks now, and um, that's on the the Rode arm there, and it's a really solid arm. Uh, and then it comes with that cool looking pop filter as well so if you're thinking about doing a podcast or YouTube channel or something like that um, and you have about 200 bucks to spare I'd highly suggest it uh, and let's see for the desk itself it's a 72 inch uplift desk okay so I ordered it from uplift and you can customize them I got the black with the curve but you could do like wood grain if you want you could get the square um, they have all different types of styles and you can get different colored legs as well. But basically we have the control panel with some presets. If I go ahead and hit the second one, and you can see it just rises up to, uh, to my comfortable standing level. And I definitely recommend a sit-stand desk. Uh, if money's tight, you know, they, they do have cheaper ones. This one's about 800. They have ones for like 300. And then they have uh, risers, which you can just put on a regular desk and it's basically an extender to turn it into a sit-stand desk because you don't want to be sitting, you know, for hours on end. It's, it's not good for your back and your health in general. And then, let's see, for the chair, we're using a DX Racer red and black chair. I really like the look of the DX Racers. They're also really comfortable. You can see they get the lumbar support. Uh, I've had this for, for quite a while. Um, and then I have the, the one at the Mac station is actually... Uh, I think it's the same model. It's just different color and different material. So that's basically it for this station here. Uh, we have some acoustic foam in the back for echo reduction. And over here to the left is the networking station. So we have the Comcast router back there. And then I also have the Netgear Nighthawk router to kind of speed things up, uh, increase the range and so on works really well can get get a, get a good signal on all three floors um, then above that is the cyber power UPS so if the power goes out we still have the Wi-Fi we still have the main system uh, for quite a while actually and then we have the Philips Hue bridge because there's probably I'd say about 35 Philips Hue lights throughout the house uh, that that controls and up here we have the network attached storage so they're both Synology um, disk stations. One is, the white one is the 212, and I've had that for years. I've had that for probably about five years or so. Um, and that's a two bay, and then the 918 Plus is a four bay that has four, four terabyte Iron Wolf drives, and it, it's set up with RAID redundancy. Uh, I believe there's 10 terabytes free storage on that. And I put videos, music, um, all kinds of stuff on it. You can also install things like Apache and Node.js and web development stuff, which is pretty cool. And then back there is the ADT router. So the security system for the house is on its own network, obviously, because we don't want people to be able to cut out the Wi-Fi and, and cut the system off. So that's on its own thing. Uh, we have a motion detector up there. There's two cameras outside, four cameras inside. 
glass break protectors, so plenty of security, so don't think of it. <laughs> and then this is my DSLR camera. This is a Canon T6i, which um, I'm not too good with. Cameras are the, the I'd probably say, my uh, the least that I know when it comes to technology. I really need to do some reading up on them, um, especially being a YouTuber. So it's a good thing that most of my videos are screencasts. But yeah, it, it works pretty well for a still video, uh, but it sucks for like moving around. So right now I'm using a Sony 4K Handycam. And then there's a Rode uh, shotgun mic on the top there. All right, so let's see, before we look at that station, we'll check out the closet here, which has a bunch of tech stuff. So this is the tech closet. Uh, lots uh, lots of, of it is empty boxes, like my peripherals. Uh, we have a lot of home automation stuff. I'm really big on AI and home automation. We have, you know, echo dots and echo spots all throughout the house, Philips Hue, the ring doorbell, stuff like that. Um, my wife kind of gets aggravated with it. She's like, why can't we just use a switch? I'm like, no, you gotta talk to it. <laughs> and then we have some PC building stuff, tripod, boxes, wires, stuff like that. All right, so let's see over here. We have the recording station. So this is where I do pretty much all my YouTube tutorials, my Udemy courses. Um, this is an iMac Pro, which is fantastic. It's great for uh, video rendering, very powerful. And uh, I don't even use the screen really. It's a 5K screen, but I use this, which is a, a 36 inch, I believe, widescreen curved uh, 4K monitor, LG. And this is one of my favorite products down here, definitely, um, because I can I can have what I'm recording on screen along with, you know, documentation, reference code, whatever. So definitely uh, a great investment. So let's see. On the desk we have the black uh, iMac Pro keyboard, which is really quiet. So I use this in my videos, my tutorials. We have the Steel Series. I forget the, the exact model. I'm gonna have everything in the description if you guys are interested in anything. But uh, yeah, it's a Steel Series mouse. Desk is the exact same, uplift desk, 72 inch, exact same model, colors and everything. Uh, behind the desk, we have newer lights. That's the brand newer. And they give off a, a lot of light and they're very compact, which is what I like. Uh, before that, I had these big umbrella lights, which are very ugly looking and uh, these are really nice. The battery life sucks if you use the battery, so better off just plugging them in. And then behind the station we have my YouTube um, uh, 100,000 subscriber play button. Hopefully we can replace that with the million subscriber within the next, I don't know, year and a half or so. And then we have some more acoustic foam for, for uh, echo reduction. So the chair is a DX Racer. Like I said, it's pretty much the same same model as the other one. It's just like a mesh. It had the white is leather and then the black is like a mesh material. But uh, yeah, I love these chairs. And then same mic, Rode NT1 over here as well with the Rode arm. Uh, MacBook Pro, this is the 2017 version, 13 inch. So I'll use this if I wanna you know, go to Starbucks or something, which I don't do very often. Uh, or just like lay in bed, code, browse the internet, whatever. And then this, a lot of people comment on that. That's in a, a Lemetric smart clock. And of course it can tell time and it can show weather, stuff like that. But you can also install apps on it, such as the YouTube app, which will show your subscribers. Um, there's also one for Twitter, Instagram, and some others as well. It does a lot. You can look at like the stock market stuff and all types of stuff. It's really cool actually. And then the other newer light here. So that's that's pretty much it for the station. We do have the Alex draws underneath. So all my tax, business stuff, uh, that all goes in there. All right, so now we're gonna move over to this area. Okay, so we have a little mini futon with some Traversy Media pillows. Uh, we have an echo spot, which uh, is connected to the ring doorbell, so I can see if someone's at my door, because I can't hear shit down here. And then a Google Home Mini. Get the Eat Sleep Code Repeat poster for a little motivation. And this bookshelf here. Got some uh, programming books, 
salt lamp, some hourglasses for in case I want to do some coating sessions. Uh, and then what else do we have down there? Some camera stuff, tripods. Uh, the mic is the Audio-Technica 2020, which is also a great mic. We have a cheaper HD Sony Handycam and then just some other camera stuff, my batteries for my lights, the DJI Osmo, which is like a, a phone stabilizer, camera stabilizer. All right, so let's see over here. We have the mini fridge, uh, which is there's nothing in it right now. Uh, I actually have to restock it. I, I pretty much only keep water in that. And then over here is the theater, okay, or the man cave, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And on the wall, we have some posters. So I really like crime dramas, mafia movies. We have The Godfather, Goodfellas. Uh, over here, we have the Boston movies, The Town, The Departed. We have Scarface over there, so uh, I would say that crime dramas and, and horror movies are my favorite genre. And then we have the DJ station. This is the Pioneer DDJRX controller. Uh, nothing really like special or professional, but it's it's pretty fun to use. I bring my son down here. He likes to dance while I spin, you know, house music, uh, EDM, also hip hop, and uh, it has a lot of effects. It's it's really fun to use. And it's, it's connected to the HPNV laptop, which runs the record box software, so I can load my music and see the BPMs and all that stuff. And that's on an Odyssey DJ table. And then as far as the speakers, these are Edifier Studio speakers, which are pretty powerful for their size, actually. They're, they're really small, but they have a lot of bass, um, so I really like those. And then up here, you can see we have some surround speakers and or surround sound speakers and these were actually the the wires were already there when we moved in which i really appreciated that i didn't have to do it myself uh, and those wires actually go all the way over through the wall to that entertainment center that's actually built into the wall so all i had to do was set up my receiver plug in the speakers and i had surround sound which is really nice and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, right here we have some theater seats that I ordered off Amazon. And they're pretty comfortable. They recline, they have cup holders, uh, you know, the middle consoles, got some uh, movie pillows that I got from Amazon. And just a cheap table for the remotes and stuff like that. Drinks. All right, so as for the TV, it's a 65 inch Samsung OLED TV, smart TV. Uh, best channel on YouTube displayed right there. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and then, I mean, this is a 65 inch. I would like to have gotten, I don't mean to sound like a douchebag, but I wanted this to be like a real theater. So I wanted to go bigger than that. But as you can see, the built in entertainment center is not much bigger. I could probably pull off a 70, but uh, not, nothing much bigger than that. Unless I put it on the wall behind it, but I kind of wanted it on top. Uh, and then we just have the, the center speakers and the, the side speakers for the, for the uh, receiver. So this is a Yamaha uh, receiver here, nothing special. Uh, Comcast router, screw Comcast. And then we have the video games, PS4 Pro, Xbox One S, um, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo, U, uh, what is this, Wii, and the Xbox 360. And then on this side, we have the Blu-ray, Samsung Blu-ray, and the NES and Super NES consoles. Not the originals, those, uh, you know, the small ones they sell now, which are kind of cool, bring back some, some memories. So we have the, the subwoofer, the Yamaha subwoofer down there. And then the media rack, which holds all the games. Uh, PS4 games, Switch games, Xbox, Blu-rays, some kids movies for my son down there. Although I don't really like him to come down here because that fireplace gets so friggin' hot. Okay, we have some controllers, chargers, stuff like that. And then this is just some closet space. Uh, and you can see I have these big ass uh, um, foam, these standing foam for, uh, for Echo, but they weren't doing much and they were, they're so big, they're really ugly. You might've seen them in some of my videos, but I took them down because they weren't all that effective. 
they didn't really make it sound any different. And here we have the water heater and the furnace. And if you, any of you guys follow my Instagram, you probably saw that my water heater blew. Uh, when we moved in here, the water heater blew, the furnace went, uh, the dishwasher, shit, a bunch of shit just broke. But uh, basically, we replaced this. The whole basement was flooded. I actually walked over here to spin some music, and I started hearing slushing on the ground as I was walking. And I looked down, and it's all water. So, and these are brand new rugs. We replaced all the rugs in the house when we moved in. Um, so what I did is I got one of those powerful blower uh, fans from Home Depot and ripped, I had to rip up the rug here, unfortunately, and shove it under there and have the, the thing was blowing. It looked like an ocean. I just let that run for about three days and it actually dried everything. So hopefully no mold forms or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is where I work and hopefully you enjoyed this little tour. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.